Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Kitty Karis of Myths and Monsters. If you recall, we were just about ready to start the uh, first fortress. And unfortunately, you can't pause the screen and look around like you can in the overworld. So, with these screens being bigger than one, you know, Game Boy screen, you get to look around and try to scroll them. Notice there is snake pots up there. I kind of like the music here. It's not epic, but it's okay. Snip snakes. Hey, look at some tree. I believe I want to go right here. Small health refill. That's always handy. just gave you a vague, you know, big grid outline. Here, it actually gives you a much more detailed layout. If you notice, it looks kind of like a heart. Not exactly, but close. And I can tell you that we are on the uh, second row up from the bottom all the way to the right right now. That is where we are. Monster is a good monster. We have to go up from here without getting mauled by the snakes. But you'll notice, like the last game, no, that's not fun or fair. pencil will mark down whichever rooms you've been through, and unlike the last game, this one actually works to mark all the rooms you've been, uh, you've already been through before you get the pencil. And like the last one, it just kind of started from wherever you picked it up, which I guess would kind of make more sense for a pencil, but it made the pencil kind of a worthless item. Of that. Oh goody. Probably will be saying goodbye to my first bottle here. Well, maybe not. Yep. And after that heart cost me a bottle. Oh well. Say love me. You've been learned. Whatever. Now you drop one of those. Now, sure. Okay, it looks 
looks like oh, this is my only recourse, isn't it? Guess so. Let's see what's over here. I go up or I can go to the left. I haven't gone left. That should light up a room we're in. We have a pretty complete map. Yeah. Here's where the uh, better jumping controls come into play. Stop picking that up. Yeah, what's over here? 